Shalom. I want to start giving all praises due to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Okay? And I want to go into the, um, I want to go into the history of teens. Here it is. That, um, I'll show you later. Teens, 10 guilty convicts reacting to their sentences. So what I'm leading to on this is talking about how when the wicked, they be having a ride. They be look like they winning a the race. They look like they shining. They doing good for themselves. But it seems like the ones that struggle, okay, the meek, you know what I'm saying? It seems like they always have hard times. It seems like the tribulation is always on them, okay? Let's go to some scriptures. Psalms 37 and 1 and 2. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thy envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and weather as the green herb. That's the fate of the wicked. Whether it's our people or whether it's Esau in the nations. Because our people, that's two-thirds of our people, the majority of our people is going to be put to death too for being backstabbers, okay, and being haters to their own people, okay? And it says, um, let's go to 73 and 3. 73 and 3. And it says, for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. See that? And then it says in Jeremiah 10, learn not the ways of the heathens and their customs. And that's what our people really into, man. They want to be like Esau. They want to, they want that fame, man. They tired of being beat down and broken down. But that ain't the way, man. That's another way. But that ain't the straight way. Okay. Let's go to um, Proverbs 23, 17. Proverbs 23, 17. We got to walk that straight path. Sound like straight path. <laughs> yeah, which is straight path. That's the place in wine dance. You know what I'm saying? Where I was growing, you know, raised up at a little for a little while. Straight path, wine dance. Okay. Be not Proverbs 23, verse 17. And it says, Let not thy heart envy sinners, but be thy in the fear of the Lord all the day long. For surely there is an end, and thy expectation shall not be cut off. Now jump to 24. Be not thy envious against evil men, neither desire to be with them. What? Say that again. Be not thy envious against evil men, neither desire to be with them. Let's go to Psalms 1 and 1. Blessed is the man that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. Read it again. Blessed is the man that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. That's the things of the world. Okay, that's their philosophies, which is their religious, religious um, facilities that you want to be part of. Okay, they pagan holidays. Okay, or just to gain anything that this system has to offer you that's contrary to the most high. Okay, all right, nor sit in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. That's these scriptures, that's fresh glass of water. Okay, cool, crisp, fresh glass of water, I climb water. Okay, pure, 90.5, 95.5 alkaline water, fresh. <laughs> All right, now let's go to Proverbs 4 and 14. Proverbs 4 and 14. Because I'm going to play that skit about these guys getting these sentences and how they breaking down. Proverbs 4 and 14. Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not. In the way of evil men. Avoid it. Pass not by it. Turn from it. And pass away. For they sleep not. Except they have done mischief. 
and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. Remember that. And that's how the system is set up for us. The system is not set up for us to really be successful. Okay. Now you may have some cool ass niggas and say, well, if you go to school, you can do it. Okay. You do this, you do that. You can be successful, but you got to work 20 times harder than the next man. You got to 20 times harder than the average white man um, called white privileges. Then the nations, even the nations come over here and get ahead of you. You never thought about that. I guess all so-called Native Americans, so-called African Americans, okay, Allen scattered abroad, greetings, okay, they don't want to be successful, do they? Or they maybe not smart enough. That's a lie. So just keep doing what you got to do, staying on the straight gate, because the broad way is a path to destruction. Now you're going to see how these guys break down and they cry. Okay. I'm going to give you a little bit of it. Bear with me. Look at it. Now these are sentences that these guys got, right? And these sentences, these people did some brutal, brutal things. But you ever thought about when they did it? They didn't care about it. They didn't think about it. They was on the top. Some of them, some horrific crimes. All right. Oh, I made a mistake and hit the button. But you can look at this on your own. Ten guilty convicts react. Reacting to life sentences. So I use this as the state to say, what do you think is going to happen to the wicked? When I say fret not, they're going to get theirs. And their ending is a bad, terrible result. You don't want that. Okay. But here's the kicker. What about the ones that's leading the flock of the circumcision? Taking the young men money, not showing them how to um, fend for themselves. Okay. Because in this world, you still need a skill for these scriptures. Okay, you still need, sorry, Salakia. You still need a skill to survive. You have to work. You can't just preach the, the gospel and, and, and don't have no job. Okay? So what about the ones that's taking the people money of the circumcision that know the law, but using the law to fill their belly? Another episode of Performing Arts, Brother Shema Pasar Shalom.